our creator endowed us with the right to life. The governor celebrated signing the bill on Twitter. And yet millions of children lose their right to life every year. The heartbeat bill banning abortion as early as six weeks when a heartbeat can be detected and changing how it would be enforced, allowing any private citizen to sue an abortion provider, someone who doesn't need to be connected to a patient or even live in Texas. Anyone who successfully sues can collect a minimum of $10,000, and abortion clinics sued unjustly cannot recover legal fees. I'm disappointed that Governor Abbott would sign this bill. Abortion proponents vow to fight in court again, regardless how this bill is written or enforced. I mean, this is clearly an unconstitutional bill. So yes, Texans and advocates in Texas will be fighting to make sure that this doesn't go into law. <laughs> But as the governor signed the heartbeat bill, Rebecca Parma with Texas Right to Life was in this crowd, prepared for the coming legal fight and watching Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban already headed to the Supreme Court. We don't mind going to the courts and working through that process um, in order to ultimately overturn Roe v. Wade. That's really important to the, the overall legal strategy. The governor's critics have also latched onto the difference of a COVID mask rule eased on a Tuesday, getting government out of people's lives and then government involvement in people's lives on a Wednesday. You obviously don't see that dichotomy, do you? We're protecting life and we're protecting the right to life. And that's a fundamental right. Um, and it's the government's role to step in to protect people's lives. A government role headed again to challenges in court. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.